break from our coronavirus coverage. We've set the clocks forward. We've made it through almost a quarter of the year. About that. Almost time to start a new season, too. Rochelle is here with the science behind tomorrow's spring equinox. Spring. No, not that kind of spring. The season. It's that time of year again. Spring is just about here, and it's time for pastel colors everywhere you turn. The spring, or vernal, or March equinox happens on either the 19th, 20th, or 21st of March each year. The equinoxes date and time are different every year because the Earth doesn't exactly take 365 days to orbit the sun. The orbit time is more like 365 and a quarter days, ish. The actual equinox is the point in time when the sun shines directly over the equator. And this happens again in the fall, just in case you miss it. Now the word equinox comes from Latin meaning equal night, but we won't see equal day and night on the equinox. And this is because of our latitude, which is the imaginary lines that parallel the equator. Those latitude lines and where we're located on the planet is why we'll have equal day and night a few days before the March equinox. So Earth's atmosphere bends sunlight so we see what looks like the upper edge of the sun, even though it's technically below the horizon. Now that gives us a few more minutes of daylight than we would have had without light refraction. Oh, and you know how daylight has been increasing since the winter solstice back in December? Fun fact, the rate of daylight growth is actually the greatest right around the March equinox. Days continue to grow longer until summer starts in June, but just not as much. Happy spring. Hey, if you have something you want Rochelle to explain, just send her an email or reach out on social media.